Hello students, welcome to the two week certification course on PLC and Arduino programming, mechanical department, BGS Polytechnic. Uh, in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to program uh, DC motor to control the direction. Uh, before starting of the video, uh, PLC programming, we'll see uh, the concepts like that is uh, here we are having DC motor that is operating voltage 12 volts DC motor is there that is uh, quite common in uh, student projects so this is a gate DC motor uh, 12 volts and this is a 12 volts okay uh, we are having a PLC kit that is operating voltage is 12 volts so output is also 24 volts so we we cannot drive the 12 volts dc motor directly from the 24 volts in addition uh, even if it is operating voltage of dc motors 20 volt 24 volts it is not recommended to connect directly motor to the plc because uh, motor power is high uh, PLC output may be a transistor output or small power outputs will be there. So we cannot drive uh, directly the motor from PLC kit. Okay, so what we have done is there is a interface, there is a relay 20 volts, 24 volts relay is used. Two relay, uh, two relays are used. This is a one relay module consisting of two relays called K1 and K2. See this is a K1 coil, K2 coil. Each relay, each relay will have one normally open, one normally close, and then one common pin. Like like that in K2 also normally open, normally close, and then common pin. So this circuit is like the hardware circuit means uh, hardware circuit. Uh, after PLC programming, how we can connect the relay uh, to the motor? This is the circuit. And to control the uh, forward and reverse direction, we are using two switches here that is S1 and S2. Okay, or S1 forward, S1 reverse. This is how the wiring diagram uh, to control the direction of DC motor. Uh, that is the overall concept. <coughs> so, now what I'll do is first I'll open the uh, Delta PLC software, first I'll program it, uh, and then this is the wiring diagram. So after that, I'll show you the complete uh, working of uh, the DC motor uh, after programming. Let me open the software. That is WPL software. I'm using it. Double click on it. File new. So type the program name and then. The PLC model we are using is SS2. Click OK. And let me zoom it. So, first I'll take a normal open contact. So X0, I am taking to uh, X0, I am considering as a switch and I am using for forward, uh, forward direction. It's, called, it's for forward direction. Like that, I will take one more, that is X1 for reverse command. And I'll take one that is Y0 output uh, for forward, but I'm using for K1 relay. Uh, I'm using Y0 to switch on K1 relay. So like that, uh, F7, F7, that is Y1. Uh, Y1 is used for to switch on the K2 relay. But uh, since we are controlling the direction, see X0, if X0 is high, Y0 is high, Y0 means 
k1 on so relay when k1 relay is on we can go for one direction that is forward say if x1 is high then y1 is high that means k2 relay will be high so that reverse direction but assume that user operating x0 as well as x1 at the same time what should happen k1 k2 should not be on at the same time that means you are giving command for forward as well as the reverse so that is not acceptable that is why there is a concept of interlocking so interlocking means if if y if uh, y0 is on sorry or if y0 is on then y1 should not be on so i'm using normally close of y sorry y0 like that normally close of y1 so this is the interlocking concept so i'll debug the code uh, there are no errors then right now I'm, i if i don't have a plc so i'll go for the simulation mode and then download the program and then online mode this is online that is control f4 so plc should be in run mode before checking the output so go to run mode that is control f11 now what i do is if i if i press this switch for forward then motor rotating in forward because k1 relay is on at this time if you try to switch on the reverse button but k2 relay is not getting on so this is the concept of interlock okay so you have to switch off this switch x0 then only you can switch on x on or x1 so that y1 can be on okay so now motor rotated in reverse so this is a plc program and which can be dumped to the plc uh, delta plc and then uh, you can uh, connect a dc motor as per the wiring diagram as shown earlier and you will get the output uh, we have tried in the lab and uh, uh, student our students are trained in the, uh, uh, tried in the lab and they got the output and uh, if you continue uh, watching the video you will get the demonstration so once uh, this is done i'll give you one more uh, uh, animation to understand better here uh, using the simulation software so this is a, a simulation software here see this is the uh, plc delta plc in the middle okay uh, every plc will have a input card and output card here this is the input card this is the input card and this is the output card so inputs are connected to the input card outputs are connected to the output card but here in the plc uh, in, in this demonstration uh, or in this direction control here relay is considered as output so relay is connected to the plc output so plc will generate 24 volts after processing the program and then relay can be on so when relay is on contracts are belonging to that particular relay will get change over so look at this this is a wiring diagram so look at the complete program i'll press s1 switch s1 switch for assume that forward if you press s1 switch motor uh, turning in uh, clockwise assume that because you can see here plus is here green line is there that means this is in uh, positive and this is in negative so it is rotated in clockwise okay so if i release this switch s1 and then press s2 look at here so now positive line comes in this this line so motor rotates in reverse direction okay k2 relay is on and interlocking concept i can check it now motor rotating in reverse but if you give a command for forward it will not work that means y0 is not 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 getting on uh, k1 relay is not getting on so there is no signal for y0 or k1 this is how you can interlock uh, uh, in switching off for both the relay okay so this is a complete working of the uh, program so uh, this is a wiring diagram so uh, this is all about uh, the direction control of uh, dc motor continue watching it continue watching the uh, so that you can watch the 
lab demonstration video. Thank you everyone. In this video, we are demonstrating uh, how to control the direction of DC motor using PLC. So this PLC, uh, this is a PLC trainer kit. Uh, it is having uh, delta PLC and it is having uh, eight inputs and uh, six outputs. Uh, since it is operating voltage is 24 volts, uh, motor voltage is 12 volts here. So that is why we have to use one interfacing relay here. This is a 24 volts relay module. Two relays are there. So for direction control, uh, two, uh, two uh, relays are required to control a single motor. So this is a relay, 24 volts relay. So PLC program already explained in the uh, WPL software. So now this is a uh, demonstration on how to connect the wires of motor and relays to the PLC kit so that it will work as per the requirement. So here we are using two inputs like X0 and X1 as inputs, X0 for forward, X1 for reverse and we are using Y0 for uh, as output, Y0 for forward, Y1 is for reverse and Y0, Y1 is connected to the uh, relay module that is a 24 volts relay module that is positive is connected to Y0, 1 plus is connected to Y0, 2 plus is connected to Y1. Uh, negative uh, common we have short, uh, sh shorted the negative and then connected to the PLC ground, the power PLC, PLC power supply ground so that whenever Y0 is on relay, relay, uh, uh, K1, relay K1 and K2 will be on. That is a circuit about uh, uh, coil. So relay contracts are given to the 12 volt supply. This is a 12 volt supply. This is a SMPS 12 volts supply. And uh, the circuit is like positive uh, voltage is given to the normally open. And normally open of relay 1, relay 2 shorted. And negative of the sub power supply is given to the normally close. And relay 1, relay 2 are shorted. Both relay having the common that is C1 and C2. So C1 and C2 is given to the motor. Motor is having two terminals that is positive and negative. So it is given to common terminal. This is a wiring. So now we will show the demonstration. By operating X0, motor rotating in one direction. By operating X, X1, it rotates in reverse direction. Here, interlocking concept is taken care. For example, now motor rotating in reverse direction, but if you switch on the switch for forward, it will not work. So, uh, inter interlocking concept is used. So, by switching off the reverse, then only you can go for the forward direction. This is how we can control DC motor using PLC. And this is a, a program is uh, written, uh, uh, developed by BGS uh, students, mechanical students, because this is a, this is a part of workshop, 10 days uh, training program on uh, PLC, Arduino programming. Uh, this is a, a part of, uh, this is a day two activity where students have developed this program and download the program to the PLC and wiring they have completed.